You will need 9 inch balloons with hex nut inserted. Use the balloon pumps to inflate enough balloons so that each pair of students can share a balloon. Show the students how to make the hex nut start spinning. Tell the students to start spinning slowly, then faster, and then observe what happens. Have two VSVS volunteers hold the slinky so that there is no slack between the two ends. Have one volunteer slowly move the slinky up and down while the other holds it steady. This is an example of a transverse wave. Explain that light waves are transverse waves. Next, have a volunteer pull back on the slinky and release it, sending a pulse traveling down the length of the slinky. This is an example of a longitudinal wave. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. Stack the cups upside down in a pyramid on a table. Aim the air blaster at them and knock the cups over. Tell the students to hold one of the tubes to their ear and listen. Then have pairs of students exchange tubes so that they can listen to a different length of tubing. Students should hear that the pitch of the sound changes with the length of the tube. The shorter tube produces a higher pitch. The longer tube produces a lower pitch. Each group will need a tuning fork and a mallet. Hold the tuning fork at the handle and to hit the tines of the fork with the black rubber side of the mallet so that the fork produces a sound. The sound is stopped as soon as the tines stop vibrating. Caution the students not to hit the tuning forks on a hard surface. Place a set of tubes on the table in their numbered order. Leave about 3 inches between each tube. Place the tines of the tuning fork at the opening of the shortest tube. Hit the tuning fork to start it vibrating and listen for the resonance. Record the number of the tube that gives the loudest resonance. Students take one numbered sound tube and play a tune by hitting the tubes on their thighs or...